Hey and welcome to this video for Bluehost.com. In this video we're going to show you how you can go ahead and sign up for Bluehost and start hosting your websites today. So first go ahead and head to the website. It's Bluehost.com. And once you hit the website you'll go ahead and see this sign up now button. So we go ahead and click on that. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and enter a domain name. If your domain name that you're wanting to choose is already taken, it will let you know. Or if you already have a domain name, then you can go ahead and enter your existing domain name here and click on next. Here we're going to go ahead and select a domain name. Alright, so we go ahead and type in our domain name here and we can click on next. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and enter our information here. So we can go ahead and type in our first and last name, type in the name of our business, our country, we type in the street address, so all of our personal information here, and then we can select our package information. So here we can either select a 12, 24, or 36 month package, and you can see the respective monthly prices here. We can choose a yearly package if we'd like. That comes out to 1995 month, that's the pro package. So you can choose from the uh, different options that are available here. And in addition, we have different add-ons here we can select from. So we can have uh, Site Lock Domain Security, Site Backup Pro, uh, we have search engine jumpstart we can add that on there as well as domain who is privacy so we can select any of the ones that we want to include and uh, once we're done we can go ahead and type in our credit card information so we choose the type of credit card that we have here type in our information here and once you've typed in all the information here selected your package and typed in your credit card information go ahead and confirm this and we click on the next button all right, so once you've created your account and you've gone ahead and logged into your account, we can go ahead and start uh, working with Bluehost. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and head to our hosting tab. Okay, now if you look under the section that says Web Builders, we're going to go and click on Simple Scripts. All right, we're going to give it a second to load here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go and click on the Install New Scripts button here. And so what we can do is we can choose from a variety of different uh, plugins. So we have our WordPress one here. And if I click on WordPress, you can see I can go ahead and do a brand new installation of WordPress. So I can go ahead and click on Start. And I can go ahead and select the domain, which I'd like to install a script for. All right, so now I can go ahead and click on Check Domain. All right, now I already have an existing one, so I'm going to go ahead and click on this checkbox here. Okay, so now we can go ahead and agree to the terms and click on Install Now. Okay, and you can see that the WordPress script is now installing onto my domain. Okay, so now the installation is complete and I can go ahead and access my website now. So you can see that it provides the site URL, the login URL. And of course, I'm going to blur out all this information here so you can't see it. It does provide the username and the password. And in addition to the WordPress script itself, we can also use Mojo to install different themes, plugins, and graphics into our WordPress uh, domain here. So now that we have this created, we can go ahead and log in using the login URL that's provided. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and type in our username and password that we were provided after installing the WordPress script. All right, so now we've gone ahead and logged into our WordPress site here, and we can go ahead and start making changes to our uh, WordPress domain. Uh, so let's go ahead and write our first blog post. Now that I'm signed in here, I can go ahead and create a new post. Okay, so now we can go ahead and type in our full post. Okay, so as we're editing our first blog post here, we can go ahead and do a number of different things. We can change the font, make it bold, italics, we can adjust uh, whether or not we want the text to be centered or if we want it to be offset to the left or right. So we can play around with the different settings and formatting for the text. We can also play around with adding different images, uh, whether or not we want to have audio included and things like that. And that's all available on this sidebar here. I'm going to keep this blog post pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and click on Publish. And you can see that the post has now been published onto my WordPress site. If I go ahead and click on View Post, you can see that just like that, I've now posted my very first post uh, onto my new blog that I've just set up using Bluehost. All right, so that's just about all there is to it. That's how you can set up your first WordPress site using Bluehost.com. And be sure to check the link in the description. If you click on that link down below, uh, we're actually offering blog setups for free if you click on that link. So be sure to check that out. Uh, thanks for watching this video tutorial, and have a great day.